Hi everybody, welcome back to another quick tip from Hummingbird. And today we're going to be talking about waypoints. So here I have an SD card. This, it's got to be 32 uh, gigabytes or smaller. You just can't have one bigger than 32. And you can see on here I've clearly written waypoints. So I have several of these SD cards that I use. And so what I'm going to do, these are the waypoints and I'm going to show you how you can share waypoints with a buddy that's maybe fishing a tournament. You can put waypoints into uh, separate SD cards if you fish a lot of lakes. Basically, these units will hold 2,500, so 2,500 waypoints. And if you fish a lot, you could get to that point pretty quickly. So I'm going to put this into the... Well, first of all, take everything out. And I'm going to put this card into the slot. It really doesn't matter which slot you put it into. And I'm going to get a prompt. It says, upload navigation data from SD card. I'm going to say no, because if I upload that, I'm going to double up on all my waypoints. And you don't want to do that, because pretty quickly you will get to that 2,500. So that, way, that card already has waypoints on it. So I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to hit menu twice. And I'm going to go over to charts. And I'm sorry, you're going to go to navigation. Sorry about that. And go down twice to waypoints, routes, and tracks and hit arrow to the right. And from there, this is going to tell me all the waypoints that I have. Mine. You can't tell because it starts at 1, so if I go up here to change it to Z, you can see I've ha I have 746. So if you want to know how many waypoints you have, that's how you figure that out. But what I want to do is go to Options. And I click on Options, and now you have a sub-menu. You have New, you have Select Multiple, Search By, Select All, and Set as Default. So I'm going to do select all and, but I will go back and tell you how you might want to use the select multiple. So select all and, hit the right cursor. Now at this point, I could delete all these waypoints, which I absolutely do not want to do, or I can export the waypoints. So this, what this is going to do is export any new waypoints that I might have created since the last time. Uh, I know some people will delete all the waypoints on a card and then export them um, but you really don't need to do that so export save tracks waypoints and routes overriding all tracks waypoints and routes on this S SD card and that's why you don't need to clear it because it's going to overwrite them so I click yes and this goes very quick it's already successful uh, these don't take up much space at all now some people will take these cards and start a file on their laptop or their their desktop computer at home and so you've got a second backup but basically this card right here has all 700 and however many that said and they're saved here if you don't do this you're running the risk of losing all your waypoints i have heard stories of people that go to do their software update and to do your software update, you have to restore all the factory defaults. And I have heard stories of people losing waypoints. Now, that's never happened to me, and I do update my software quite often. Um, but I would say, depending on how much you fish, you probably want to export and update your, your SD card with the waypoints maybe two, three, up to maybe five times a year, again, depending on how much you fish and how many waypoints you're putting out there. Once I start getting to the point where maybe you're pretty close to having uh, 2,500 waypoints, you're going to start getting into trouble. So here's what you can do for that. So again, I go to Options, click once to the right, and it says Select Multiple and. So now I go to the right, and I am going to actually export only the ones that I want to. So what I could do... Let me exit out of that. I'm going to go down here and I would highlight the ones that I want um, to move. And so you can mark as many of these as you want. 
Um, incidentally, I can also go to edit and I can change this blue icon to a stump or a fish or a rock or whatever you want it to be. Um, but you can basically select all the waypoints from a given lake or an area or a region and then put them onto separate SD cards. So that's the quick tip. Hopefully that helps and thanks for watching.